OK, so now we have come to our last session and we'll switch the channel back again to Cantonese. 好啦,那今天我們又來到我們最後一個 見到啊。好,睇到,唔該曬。OK,唔該曬。OK,咁開始啦。誒,OK。Okay, <笑> 可以更加快,同有效地去build到我們的machine learning model,或者deep learning model with all the Azure Cloud solutions. Okay. Before I try to share the tips with大家之前,我們介紹一下在Azure的世界上有什麼工具,有什麼軟件可以方便到你可以去做一些machine learning model或者deep learning model. 大家看到那個屏幕,我們有幫助的Infrastructures 其實就我們都可以做一些叫做training on top of that,除了CPU或者GPU,甚至乎一些新興一些的FPGA的processor之外,其實上面我們的Productive的Service都很重要,去輔助你整個Machine 呃,end-to-end的Machine 其實我們很多時候都去訓練一些模型的時間,也都會用一些 其實很多時候我們一個on Machine learning tools已經可以隨手使用,我們可以去做一個machine learning或者deep learning data science的 
誒就呢度啦 ，OK， 咁你見到我哋都 support 唔同嘅 popular 嘅 framework 嘅，咁其實誒 Microsoft Open Source Embrace 噶啦，當然係，咁其實我哋 support 好多唔同 open source 嘅 deep learning 啊、machine learning 嘅 framework 啦，咁可能有而家最新興嘅 Facebook、Facebook 嘅 PyTorch 啦、啊 TensorFlow 啦 ，OK、Scikit-Learn 啦 ，OK， 亦都可以 support 誒 ONNX 嘅 open source 嘅啊 model 嘅 framework， 亦都可以喺呢一個嘅。framework 底下喺個 Azure 上邊可以去到去做一啲唔同 under 呢啲 framework 上邊嘅 machine learning 或者 deep learning model 嘅 training 嘅，其實都可以 support 到嚇。咁誒，亦、uh, 都我亦都 support 誒唔同嘅 data science 嘅 tools。OK， 咁其實亦都唔需要 hesitate 啦。其實所有誒、呃、我哋用開嘅 data science 嘅 tools 咧，咁我諗尤其是係 Jupyter Notebook 啦 ，OK， Python 你哋用緊嘅唔同嘅 IDE 啦，亦都可以去 support 到啦。我哋都非常 first party 嘅 Azure Notebook。呢個 notebook 其實係一個幾得意嘅 service 嚟嘅，其實係呢個 service 咧，其實係一個 managed compute， 咁其實你可以直接去 Azure 嘅 notebook 裏邊直接去 run 你嘅 interactive 嘅 Python， 咁直接可以 run 到，咁唔需要話裝翻個 notebook 嘅 service 或者裝個 account， 跟住再裝翻個 notebook 嘅 libraries 先至可以行到，咁你可以直接喺個 Azure 上面行。咁當然亦都我哋有 first party 嘅 IDE 啦，我相信亦都好多唔同嘅 developer 已經用緊就係 Visual Studio Code 啦，咁亦都 support 唔同嘅 language 啦，當然 Python 啦 ，OK， 咁話 Scala 啦 ，OK， Java 啦 ，Dotnet 啦，當然會係有，咁其實唔同嘅 coding 嘅 base 亦都有唔同嘅 library 可以 import 翻，亦都可以用到。咁亦都喺個 Visual Studio Code 近期都有啲新嘅 update， 其實都係直接可以 open up 一啲 I Python 嘅東西嘅 ，OK， 即係 Python 嘅 Jupyter Notebook 亦都可以直接開到。咁當然啦，亦都 command line tools 咧，亦都係 support， 亦都可以同個成個 Azure 嘅 interactive 啦，我哋叫 Azure CLI 啦。咁最尾 at the top 啦，咁其實好多時候我哋去做 machine learning 嘅 model 嘅時間，我諗最最新興最多人去做嘅，可能會做一啲啊 language processing 啦，可能做啲 vision 嘅 model 啦。咁其實我陣間一個 tip 裏邊就係話，其實我哋唔係下下都需要去 from the scratch build 嘅，好多時候，因為其實喺我哋個 deep learning 嘅世界，我哋都有 transfer learning 嘅東西，好多時候我哋都係 success by 一啲已 train 好咗嘅 model。再 further ingest 你而家現有嘅 data 啦 ，OK， 去 further fine tune 誒 train 好咗嘅 model 嘅，我哋叫 transfer learning 嘅東西。咁喺呢個 topic 裏邊，其實喺 Microsoft 咧，其實已經 prepare 咗好多唔同，我哋叫做罐頭啦 ，candid 嘅 candid 嘅誒 base on machine learning 或者 deep learning 嘅 model 去 train 出嚟嘅 surface API。咁 for example 有 visions 啦 ，OK， 咁當然你可以做啲 compare visions 去啊，哦。做一個 face detection 啦 ，object detection 啦，咁亦都可以有一啲咁嘅 API out of the box 已經係已經有，亦都可以隨插即用嘅，其實已經係。咁當然有 speech 啦 ，OK， 用嚟做啲 speech to test 或者 test to speech，OK、okay?。咁亦都可以做啲 language 啦，亦都可以做啲 translations 啦 ，web search 啊，或者甚至乎係 decision engines， 咁亦都可以有一啲 candid OK out of the box 咁 Azure 上邊已經有嘅 API， 你直接 call instead 去 build from scratch。咁其實亦都可以慳到好多時間喺我哋個啊。個 machine learning 或者 deep learning 嘅 model 嘅 development 裏邊，咁啊 going to the next line 啦 ，OK， 咁 next line 咧，咁其實誒我就蒐集咗好幾個 point 啦，其實都首尾呼應翻之前我介紹個 Azure 上邊有好多唔同嘅 offerings 嘅，咁點樣我哋先至可以去 effectively 我去做一啲 machine learning model 出嚟去 serve 我哋嘅 user 咧 ，end user 咧，可能係話譬如突然間話我俾兩日時間你，可能我要 train 一個 computer vision 個 model detect something object，OK，、okay? 或者戴唔戴個 face mask 可能都安翻個 face mask， 出個 face mask 嘅 model， 咁點樣可以好 effectively 去 train 一啲類型嘅 models 咧？咁其實誒幾樣嘢啦 ，OK， 第一個第一個就係話咁係一個。誒黃金比例啦，都係八十二十啦。OK， 咁其實喺個 application development 嘅世界，甚至乎喺 machine learning 嘅世界，其實我哋都會有 follow 翻呢個股。其實我哋唔係下下都即係直接去踩入去肉曲裏邊咧，直接去 develop from scratch 個 model。咁即係話我哋都可以利用翻原生喺個 cloud platform provide 到嘅 model 啦 ，preview 嘅 candid model 或者 tools 啦，直接去利用。OK， install build from scratch。咁可能兩成嘅時間，我哋就會多數會係做一啲啊真正落手去，即係做一啲 deep learning model 嘅 development， 甚至乎嗰啲情況底下。我哋都可能會 leverage 一啲特別嘅 tools 啦 ，OK， 先至去 expect 大成個成個 development 嘅 life cycle。啊、um, ，第二樣嘢就係話誒 leverage 翻 cloud-based power 啦，當然會係啦，因為其實好多時候喺屋企又好啦，喺公司都好啦，咁係個 GPU resources 啦，甚至乎喺個 CPU resources 裏邊一定有限嘅，其實嘅買 GPU 卡，咁我相信都大家都知道好貴嘅啦，其實已經係。咁喺 cloud 嘅世界裏邊，你可以去 pay as you go 啦，你可以隨時去開一啲 GPU compute 啦，或者 CPU high CPU compute 啦，可能係八個 core、十個 core 你都可以開到啦。咁除此之外，其實就係話我哋亦都有一啲叫做 GPU 或者 CPU training 嘅 clusters。
。咁呢啲可能喺公司又好啦，或者喺屋企嚟講都比較去難標到嘅。咁其實喺個喺 Azure 嘅世界裏面，其實我哋都好容易去起得到一啲叫做 distributed 嘅 training clusters。啊，咁其實亦都 support 一啲 open source 嘅 distributed learning 嘅 framework， 你可以直接隨接出用嘅啦。其實已經係。咁第三樣嘢就係 distributed training 啦 ，OK。咁當然而家個趨勢亦都好少可，即係如果係 train 一啲啊 computer vision 啦，或者 NLP 嘅時間，我哋都好少可用單個 GPU 去做，揾住一部一部 PC 或者一部你嘅 deployment workstation， 可能 even 有 GPU 都唔夠快嘅。通常我哋都會講到一啲 distributed training 嘅 frameworks。咁當然 distributed training 喺個 Azure 上邊嘅世界裏邊咧，其實係比較容易啲實現嘅。其實我哋誒 ，for example open source 嘅 Hello 嘅 framework 啦，你可以直接去 import 翻 framework 嘅 libraries 咁嚟。都可以去直接去做，甚至 PyTorch、PyTorch 亦都係原生直接可以做啲 distributed training， 甚至 without 一啲好 sophisticated 嘅誒 transformation 嚟啲 coding 現成嘅，亦都可以行到 distributed 嘅啦，已經係。咁第四樣嘢其實我分享就係 auto tuning 啦，喺一個陣間會介紹多少少關於個 Azure Machine Learning 呢個元件啦。OK， 其實裏邊有一個叫做 auto tuning 嘅東西，呢個亦都好重要嘅。通常我哋去做 model training 嘅時間啦，其實成個 machine learning 或者 deep learning， 我諗最嘥時間，我諗大家都可能共鳴嘅就係話個 data preparation 咯，個 cleansing 啦，當然係嘥咗我哋好多時間啦，已經係。咁另外嘢就係話 train 個 hyper parameters， 我哋去令到而家呢個 model 係更加 fit。你嘅 requirements 啦 ，OK， 咁其實 auto tuning 係重要嘅，咁其實喺個 Azure Machine Learning 嘅世界裏邊，我哋有個叫 Hyper Drive 嘅東西，咁 automatically 幫你試唔同嘅 Hyper Parameters， which is 係 fit to 你某一個嘅 learning rate 或者係個 loss rate，OK，、okay? 咁我哋直接可以去做個 auto tuning 效果，咁你就可以 pick 翻究竟我 tune 咗乜嘢嘅 Hyper Parameters 就可以令達至你個 model 嘅 accuracy 可以 improve 到啦。咁第五樣嘢啦，咁其實就係個 matrix 嘅 tracking 亦都係重要嘅。好多時候我哋會 lost track 嘅，好多時候我哋都成日都講 machine learning 嘅世界、d e e p learning 嘅世界，我哋有一個 continuous 嚟嘅 improvement， 其實係一個 iterations 嚟嘅。我哋都好少可話即係一次就中咗，我哋可以 train 到一個 model 好 high accuracy 嘅。其實好多時候，所以喺個 matrix 嘅 tracking 係非常之重要 ，track 翻究竟誒我做咗啲咩改動。改咗啲乜嘢嘅 parameters， 或者喺個 data 方面，我哋去改一啲乜嘢，令到嗰個 accuracy way 高咗或者低咗。咁個 matrix tracking 咧，其實係一個，就咁喺一個 practice 裏邊嚟講，其實我哋需要去 track 住究竟我做啲乜嘢，可以去 trace trace 得翻。OK， 甚至乎我哋做一啲 automatically 嘅 pipeline 嘅時間咧，咁變咗係更加難 track 嘅。OK， 咁譬如我哋做一啲 images。我哋收啲 feedback， 我哋會自動去 tune 你啲 model 嘅時間。咁 refine 呢啲咁嘅 tracking 嘅時間，我哋就揾唔到 reasoning， 就好難去再 look back 翻究竟我哋個 model 究竟突然間好咗啊，或者係壞咗。好多時可能有一啲誒惡意嘅 in 惡意嘅 inputs 咧，會令到一啲而家啲都好 hot 嘅 topic， 係實家有 security topic 啦，惡意令到你個 model 個 accuracy rate 會特登減低嘅，就會係。咁呢個 matrix tracking 都係個非常有用，去 track 翻呢啲咁樣嘅情況。誒、uh, 第六樣嘢 ，OK，model、okay, management。咁通常啦，誒、uh, 通常我哋做個 model 嘅 training 嘅時間，當然頭先我講過係唔淨止一次㗎啦，其實係一個 iteration 嘅 process， 可能十次、二十次。咁通常我都起碼都要五六次先至可以搞得掂啊。Depends on 你個 case 啲乜嘢啦。咁我 model management 當然緊要啦。OK， 因為我哋 release 第一個 model 嘅時間，第二個 model 嘅時間，咁你睇翻相對地我哋改啲咩 parameters， 咁你會 save 你個 models。咁以前嚟講，可能你一部單獨嘅 PC， 你可能唔係一個 team 去 develop 一個 machine learning model 或者 deep learning model， 或者複雜啲 enforcement 嘅 learning 嘅 model 嘅時間，一個人當然冇問題啦。當你要做 cooperation 嘅時間，我哋需要一啲 model management tool 去 track 住唔同嘅 training 嘅 results 啦，或者一個 workspace 啦，你可以去儲曬唔同嘅 models， 去方便易啲分享同埋 evaluate 嘅。第七樣嘢 ，OK。啊 ，model package and container， 咁呢個亦都去涉及到一啲 delivery 嘅 speed up 嘅，其實，咁其實而家喺個 machine learning 話 deep learning 嘅 model 嘅時間，我哋大多數都會好少可話就咁起部機，跟住就將個 model train 好咗個 model 就直接撈落去，咁呢啲係比較 classic 啦，比較傳統啲方法，做到嘅絕對係冇問題嘅，亦都揾部 VM 亦都可以 serve 到你個 model 絕對冇問題。通常我哋做一個 delivery 嘅時間喺誒而家現今嘅世界啦，通常我哋都會用 container 嘅形式去 pack 好咗。咁點樣去 pack 幾個 model 咧？其實我咁整。間我都會介紹多少少個 machine machine learning 嘅一個嘅原生嘅 features 啦，其實佢係有一啲叫做 no code OK 嘅。
嘅 capabilities 啦，可以幫你 train 好咗嘅，無論 static learn 啦 ，OK， 或者 ONNX 嘅 open source 嘅 models 啦 ，OK， 又或者係一啲 TensorFlow 嘅 model 啦，可能你會聽過 TensorFlow Serve。咁其實誒類似咁樣嘅概念，其實我哋都係好容易去幫你嘅 train 好咗個 model， 無論 TensorFlow 啊 static learn、Ty、PyTorch 嘅 model 可以 easy package 嘅 content 啦，跟住再 serve 一啲 API。OK， 咁呢一個亦都係近期我哋都比較去熱烈去去追求嗰樣嘢，去即係 pack 咗 content 啦，去 serve 得快啲。咁其實仲有個原因嘅，好多時候 container 講緊 container 嘅時間，我哋都會涉及到一啲 DevOps， 亦都容易啲做一啲 DevOps integration。咁當然我哋撈咗 container 嘅時間，我哋去做一啲 continuous improvement 嘅時間 ，delivery 嘅 integration 嘅時間，亦都會易啲啦嚇。咁最尾一個 point 就係話 DevOps integration 啦，有上邊嘅 container pack 好咗嘅時間，我哋都可以 streamline 成個 process 啦。我 train 好咗個 models， 咁我直接去做一個 production 嘅 roll out。OK， let's say 我 roll 落去。啊、uh, ，use that exception tax， OK， 或者 use that integration tax S I T 嘅時間，我哋可以自動化咗佢啦，可以 try to evaluate 個 model 嘅 performance 啦， OK， 先至再 roll 落去 production。instead 我哋以前可能 copy and paste 啊，撈落去某一啲嘅 storage 啊，跟住做 manual 嘅 deployment， 咁就係未必一個好嘅方法，亦都係好唔 consistent 啦，亦都可能即係 prevent 到一啲 human 嘅 error， 亦都可以係。咁啊，最尾張圖啦， OK， 咁啊一個 m e m o 俾大家睇下啦。咁其實誒、呃，可能。會包一啲咁嘅 tips 嘅時間，可能以前嚟講，我哋 train 個 model 要，即係可能你 develop 一啲 deep learning 嘅 model 嘅時間，可能真係要需要幾年嘅時間啦。OK， 咁而家喺個 Azure 嘅世界，你當然可以好快啦嚇。OK， back to 翻翻個 topics 啦，最主要 topics 係講一講 Azure Machine Learning 嘅 service 啦。咁呢一個係一個好 introduction 嘅一個 slide 去介紹俾大家，究竟 Azure Machine Learning 係咪項目啦 ？OK， 咁當然 Azure Machine Learning 其實係其中一個我哋叫 platform as a service 嘅服務啦，喺個 Azure 上邊嘅。咁其實佢係 fully managed 嘅 machine learning 同埋 data science 嘅 platform。佢係有能力去控制到 machine learning 嘅 computer， 頭先我提及到一啲 CPU 啊、GPU 嘅 clusters 咯 ，OK， 或者 single node 嘅啊 training machines 啦 ，OK， 亦都可以控制到。咁直接你喺個 machine learning 嘅 workspace 亦都可以 call 到一啲 cluster 嘅 compute， 可以直接做個 training 啦。咁其實佢亦都有能力去 call 到啲 Spark 嘅 models，OK，、okay? 咁亦都可以做啲 training 都冇問題嘅。咁其實佢亦都可以去 call 一啲 Kubernetes 嘅 cluster 做 model 嘅 trainings， 或者係做啲 deliveries， 亦都可以做到嘅。咁當然亦都佢亦都延伸咗一啲啊，我哋可以出直接可以出啲 Stratega API 啦，直接去將你個 model train 之後直接去 serve 你已經係 one bottoms。咁頭先都講過啦，你見到喺左手邊嘅時間，我哋都有啲 common 嘅 tools 啦，譬如 Python 啊、Jupyter 啊、OK 啊、Visual Studio Code 啊，咁所有 common 嘅 development tools 佢哋都係 support 啦 ，OK。咁我哋有唔同類類型嘅 Code Base 啦、TensorFlow 啦、Torch 啦 ，OK， 或者。Spark 啦 ，OK， 或者 Stack 咧，我哋 support。咁當然有唔同你 data source 啦，可能 common 嚟嘅，可能有啲 object 嘅 storage， 我哋有 Azure storage 啦，可能有啲相啦，可能有啲 videos 啦，可能有啲 voice 啦 data 啦。咁當然有啲 relational 嘅 data 亦都可以 ingest 落去。咁又或者係一啲 sensor 嘅 data 啊，又或者係一啲 JSON 啊，或者啲 NoSQL database 可以幫到，亦都有啲 NoSQL database 嘅 solutions 啦。咁最 core 嘅部分喺 Azure Machine Learning 裏面咧，其實就係話個 model 嘅 operation management 同埋 governance 嘅。咁其實我哋頭先都講過，其中一個重點一個 tips 俾大家嘅就係話，我哋點樣可以 keep track 住個 matrix 啦，去做一啲 model 嘅 management 啦。咁其實呢啲亦都係一啲原生嘅服務喺個 Azure Machine Learning Service 你可以達至得到嘅。嚇，咁我再講少少關於 interface 嗰樣嘢啦。interface 咁當然我哋誒唔同類型 code base 啦 ，Python definitely 我哋一定要用噶啦嚇。咁亦都 provide G Y 啦 ，OK。R 亦都 OK 嘅，咁其實 R 我亦都近期已經係 GA 咗嘅 service 啦，亦都可以用 R 嘅 language 去做一啲啊 interface 啦，你可以用佢嘅 SDK 去喺個 Azure Machine Learning 做 development。咁另外一啲 service 咧比較得意啲嘅 ，OK 就係關於個 Auto ML。Auto ML 咧，其實就係話誒係 design for 一啲 IT professionals 啦，或者係甚至乎啲 analyst 啦，或者冇啲誒冇特別去有經驗嘅 data scientist 啦 ，OK， 或者 data engineers 啦。咁可能我哋收到一啲 data， 我想做啲 forecasting，OK，、okay? 或者做啲基本嘅 classifications。好多時候誒、呃，其實喺 Python 世界裏面去做呢啲 model 都唔難嘅，其實係，但係都想再快啲啦。可唔可以有啲 fancy 啲嘅時間，撳撳撳就可以即刻去達至一個做一個 classifications， 可以分，譬如 for for example 係分蘋果同。產 ，for example， 咁只需要你 prepare data 啦，咁 auto ML 咧，其實就係話你可以 import 啲 data 去啦 ，OK， 咁亦都可以幫你去自動去 figure out 翻用邊做 algorithm 啦 ，OK， 幫你去 train 翻一揀翻最 best 嘅 algorithm 咧，去 deploy 一個 model， 我哋為之一個 auto ML。咁喺而家嘅 machine learning 嘅世界都非常之好嘅 topic。其實我會用呢個 auto ML 呢個 features 會點用咧？其實好多時候我哋都
喺個、啊、譬如我做 classification 嘅時間，你好多唔同嘅 algorithms 嘅。通常我哋都 hybrid 利用啦，我哋可,可能會攞佢嚟用一啲做一啲 evaluations， 因為佢有能力去幫我去試曬唔同嘅 algorithms。OK， 咁我可以用利用佢啦，可以去去睇得到每一個唔同 algorithm 嘅究竟嗰個 accuracy rate 究竟有咩改動，有咩唔同。咁其實你都可以 hybrid use， 除咗話我哋去比較簡單啲利用，去直接去收到個 model 啦，亦都可以利用佢去幫我哋手去 speed up 咗去揀。翻去揀一個 right 嘅 for for 你嘅 machine learning 嘅 model 或者 deep learning 嘅 models， 咁亦都有一啲 auto tuning 嘅東西啦。auto tuning 咧，咁其實就係話頭先我講過嘅，頭先提過好得意個名叫 hyper drive， 就係話 auto tune 你嘅 hyper parameters， 幫你試曬唔同 necessary 嘅 hyper parameters， 咁你可以去睇翻你個 accuracy rate。穿咗啲乜嘢 ？OK， 咁我哋揀翻呢一組嘅 hyper parameters，OK，、okay? 咁我哋就可以做做 deployments 咯。咁最尾一組就係話個 model 嘅 interpretations， 咁呢個亦都係重要嘅。咁呢個就係話有一個原生嘅服務啦，可以解釋得到究竟你嘅 model 咧係因為啲乜嘢啦。OK， 調翻轉頭去諗。OK， 假設你冇做 matrix 嘅時間，究竟係啲乜嘢嘅改動咧，可以令到到你個 machine learning model 咧係 improve 咗零點一個 percent 嘅 grace rate？ 覺得好奇怪，完全冇搞過，好似冇搞過嘅冇嘢嘅時間，點解會有一個 improvement 喺裏邊咧？咁變咗呢個 model interpretations 裏邊咧，喺個 actual machine learning 嘅世界都係鋪開到俾你啦。咁當然啦，頭先我提及過就係話一個 end to end 嘅 integrations 啦。咁我見到我咁係 skip 一 skip 啦。頭先我講過一啲 model 嘅 trainings 啦，我哋叫 experiments。OK， 我哋可以去 train 個 models。OK，train、okay? 完個 model 揀啱咗啦，可能你做一啲 hyper drive 先講過嘅 auto tuning 嘅時間，你揀啱咗你個 model， 準備去 deploy。咁 actual machine learning 裏邊亦都有原生嘅能力咧。OK， 咁其實都可以去幫你 package 你個 model as containers， 亦都最後可以都可以 serve。一個 container 嘅 engine 啦，例如我哋嘅 Kubernetes 嘅 service， 我哋叫 AKS， 或者我哋可以用 Azure Container Instance， which is 可能 lightweight 少少嘅 model， 一個簡單嘅 API， 亦都可以用我哋嘅 Container Instance 去 serve。咁當然亦都係有個 monitoring 嘅角色，亦都可以喺個 same 嘅 experience 裏邊可以 monitor 呢個 machine learning 嘅 model 啊，成個 life cycle 係點樣？咁成個 machine learning 嘅 service 呢，亦都可以去做一個 d e v o p s 嘅 integrations， 去 streamline 成個嘅效果。所以想象一下，就係話、呃、其實我哋都需要 code repository 嘅 machine learning 或 deep learning 嘅世界，都要做一個 code report。Let's say 我擺喺個 GitHub， OK， 又或者係我哋 first party 嘅 Azure d e v o p s 嘅 report 上面。咁其實通常我哋都唔會將一啲 notebook 呢直接擺落去。誒、呃、直接擺落去做一個 code report 裏邊㗎啦，可能我都有啲 Python code， 咁你 check in 就 push 落去，咁就可以去做一啲 trigger 啦。For example， something 我 try to turn 個 parameters 嘅時間 push to the code， 咁我哋就可以做一啲 hook trigger 啦，跟住我哋就去 trigger 相對地嘅 pipeline 去做啲 trainings。Iterations， 跟住甚至乎我哋即刻去 pack 咗 ，OK， 假設我穿咗之後 pack 咗，擺落去 UAT environment 去試咗 ，OK，OK， 睇翻我 learning rate 冇問題，咁然之後直接去 deploy， 咁亦都係一個 streamline 嘅 process， 係一個流水作業，咁變咗我哋成個個 machine learning 嘅 model 嘅 delivery 更加 streamline， 更加可以快捷。咁啊，以下呢張圖咧，咁其實一個好簡單嘅一個一個 flow 嘅 diagrams 啦，點樣去誒 between 我哋個 apps developers 啦，或者 machine learning 嘅 models 嘅 engineers 啦，點樣去溝通翻啦？咁暫時都好多人都覺得係 machine learning 或 data science 啦，其實分開啦。其實我咁睇個 trend 都係會即係其中一個 capability 係一個 developer 需要去有嘅 enhanced 個 skill 啦嚇。咁其實我都話翻喺度啦，通常我哋做個 web funding 嘅時間 ，funding developers 啦，我做開個皮 ，OK？ 咁好多時候我哋都會完整地已經包咗個 dev。可能我改埋嗰啲 UI 嘅 look and feel 啦，係咪？咁我哋可以去做一個 DevOps 嘅 integrations，OK？、Okay? 直接會係噶啦 ，continuous integrations 啦 ，deliveries 已經現有噶啦。咁喺個 data science 裏邊，其實都係可以 tap into same 嘅 ideas 落翻去成個啊 DevOps 嘅 process 裏邊嘅。只不過我哋 check 嘅 code 係唔同，我哋係一啲 machine learning 嘅 code 地，我哋去做一啲 integrations。我哋 integration 就係話我哋可能會做啲 trainings。OK， 做一啲 evaluations。After 嘅 evaluation 嘅 complete 嘅時間，我哋可以做一個 deployments。咁呢張圖咧就好簡單去介紹一下點樣可以去 fit into 成個 DevOps 個 life cycle 啦。點樣去 cooperate？ 可能我係前邊有個 front end 嘅 developer、App developer 做一個 Node JS 嘅 front end， 我嘅 tap into 後邊嘅 API 係一個皮嚟嘅，會係 OK。佢負責去做一啲可能。做一個 browser，OK，、okay? 做一個 browse 嘅 buttons，OK，、okay? 可能 upload 啲我啲 image， 我做一啲簡單嘅 classifications。咁啊背後亦當然係靠個 API 啦。個後邊就係個 model 就係我哋可以需要 deliver 嘅嘢。咁我哋可以透過 Azure Machine Learning Model 啦，個 integration 嘅個 Azure d e v o p s 啦，咁可以做一個咁樣嘅互動啦 ，OK。咁最後啦 ，OK， 咁就 Let's show the demo 啦，好，同大家去睇睇究竟我哋可以點樣去達至咁樣實現到啦。嚇，咁樣咧 ，OK。
好。咁樣呢，我 show 一 show 一個簡單版本先 ，OK？ 簡單版本呢，其實就我去 show 緊一啲、啊、我用緊 p s y c h i c l o n 去 train 啦，我嘅會 show show 用 p s y c h i c l o n 我今次冇準備到 Pi Porsche 啦 ，OK？ 咁又用 p s y c h i c l o n 同埋啲 TensorFlow 嘅 model 嘅 training， 咁其實裏面嘅 concept 都係差唔多噶啦，其實已經係即係嗰個我想想 show 俾大家睇點樣去做個 model management。咁我 show 簡單嘅 coding 係點樣做啦？咁當然啦，你去做一個誒、呃、interact with 個 Azure Machine Learning 嘅時間，你去 Azure Portal 啦 ，OK？ 咁你去 create 一個。Azure Machine Learning 嘅 Workspace 啦，咁你哋可以 follow 翻，其實都非常之簡單，咁加一個名，跟住咁 create 就已經 OK。咁我唔多高呼喺呢度啦，咁可以大家 follow 翻我哋個 Visual Documents 去 create 個 Workspace。咁點樣用呢個 Workspace 咧？咁你可以去得翻我哋首先 import 翻你嘅 necessary libraries 啦，譬如我哋有個 library 叫做 Azure ML 嘅 Core 嘅 Compute 啦，誒 Core 嘅 Experience 啦 ，Workspace 啦，因為我陣間會將我哋嘅 Experience， 將我啲 Training 嘅 Matrix 咧直接去寫翻落去個 Workspace 裏邊嘅，咁我哋 workspace， 我 connect 翻我個 workspace 裏邊，我已經 define 咗啦，擺落去我個 subscription ID 啦，誒擺落去一個 resource group 裏邊啦 ，resource group 就係一個 logical unit 儲存呢啲 resources 啦。咁有誒啱啱 create 嘅嘅 machine learning workspace 啦，就可以擺翻落去邊一度啦。咁當然你可以多個多一個啦，嚇多一個唔同嘅 workspace 啦，放個 preference。好簡單，一個 show show 究竟誒我講咧做啲乜嘢？咁跟住咧，其實我就會去 define 我嘅 experience。OK， 因為喺個 workspace 裏邊，你可以去擺唔同嘅 training 嘅。OK， 譬如今次我係一個 demonstration， 用 psychic learn 去 train 一啲 MNIST 嘅 model，try to train 一啲數字嘅 classification， 好 classic 啦。MNIST 裏邊去有好多唔同嘅 sample 啦，包括咗 train 啲 handwriting 嘅。嘅 recognition 嘅，譬如我寫個二字啊，佢認得翻係啲咩數字，咁好 classic 嘅嘅 sample 啦。咁我今次就用 psychic l e a r n i n g 式去做一個 model 嘅 trainings。咁啊，喺呢個世界裏邊咧，其實誒 Azure Machine Learning 咧，其實我亦都我係 support 一啲叫做 open data set。喺 Microsoft 裏邊亦都 provide 咗一個 open set open data set 嘅 engine。OK， 咁裏邊亦都有好多唔同類型 open 咗嘅 data set， 你可以去 search 同埋去揾，亦都可以完全 open source 可以用嘅。譬如 MNIST 咁，當然喺裏邊啦。咁今次就 import 翻個 open data set。MNIST 裏邊，咁喺度裏邊啦。首先誒呢一部分其實就冇乜特別嘅，其實我想 show show 個 data， 究竟我 show 緊一啲咩嘅 data 啦？譬如我今次係會 show 翻究竟裏邊嗰啲數目字啦 ，OK， 或者個 label， 究竟 label 啲咩嘢嚟嘅 ？Make sure 我 label 係啱啦，正確啦 ，OK。咁下邊呢部分咧就正正我哋去需要。去做 training 嘅東西啦 ，OK， 做 training 嘅東西其實都係 import 翻我哋個 run 啦 ，experience 啦 ，OK， 因為我哋要 define 翻我喺個 training 裏邊，究竟你將你嗰啲 metrics，OK，、okay? 你啲 performance 會寫落去邊一度？咁其實喺個唔好太擔心話究竟會唔會好複雜咧，走去將誒、呃、你做啲 metrics send 翻上去啦。咁其實你喺個 run 嘅 definition 裏邊啦，譬如我嘅 recognition rate 啦、accuracy 啦、epoch 啦 ，OK， define，OK，、okay? 你見到我都係打翻 run dot 乜乜，其實你打翻你嗰、那個。check 係啲乜嘢？你個 object type 係啲乜嘢 ？OK， 咁其實已經可以將你個 matrix 咧直接去寫翻落去個 Azure Machine Learning 嘅 workspace 裏邊去做一個 tracking 嘅，其實已經係。咁喺呢一個咧，喺個 notebook 嘅展示裏邊咧，其實我冇利用到任何嘅 Azure Machine Learning 嘅 managed compute， 係用本機嘅啫。因為呢一個 machine learning 實在太簡單啦，咁可能我用一兩分鐘嘅時間已經 train 完嘅啦，已經係。咁我無謂去。誒、呃、去用一啲咁 powerful 嘅 resources 去做 training 啦 ，OK？ 咁你見到其實呢個展示就係話我哋都可以去用一個 local，OK？、Okay? 假設我唔用個 Azure Machine Learning Web Space 嘅 compute 嘅，我係做咗 tracking 都冇問題嘅。咁你見到亦都可以去 show 翻個 result， 亦都睇翻個 accuracy。咁 back to 翻喺個 machine learning 嗰個 portal 裏邊啦，好簡單，我俾大家睇。你見到我有唔同嘅 iterations 啦 ，OK？ 你見到啲 metrics 啦，咁其實 regularization 啊、accuracy 啊，亦都可以去到 check 翻。咁當然你都可以 mark 翻啲 comment， 究竟呢個 training 呢個 run 究竟係一啲乜嘢嘅情況嚟啦？嚇，咁呢個第一個展示。第二個展示啦，其實就誒大同小異嘅都係，咁唯一一個唔同嘅就係話我 define 咗一樣嘢叫做 training clusters， OK？ 咁喺 training cluster 裏邊咧，咁其實我可以 define 你個 min loop 同埋 x 啊 maximum loop 嘅，咁 minimum 咁當然係為咗誒慳啲 resource 啦，無謂開啲機就環保啦嚇，嘥電啦係咪？咁變咗你可以打去零嘅 ，OK？ 即係當你唔用嘅時間係冇咁咁冇 compute 嘅 resource 冇 charge 你嘅，咁喺度裏邊你可以放零啦，或者去四個啦 ，OK？ 咁呢個可以 define 可能一百個，尤其係三個，睇翻你個 compute。resource 係啲乜嘢？譬如我今次呢一個係普通嘅 machine learning 嘅 model 嚟嘅啫，好簡單嘅，都唔算太複雜。咁所以我用一個 distributed 嘅 clusters 啦，誒用 CPU OK， 我我又係用翻兩個 core 嘅 CPU， 咁我 maximum 四個 node 就已經夠啦。OK， 可以 speed up 成個 training。一個 example， 所有 code base 喺上邊我全部一樣。誒、uh, 
誒，都係 data define 翻個 workspace 係啲乜嘢啦，我哋 data 曬啲乜嘢啦。咁唯一唔同嘅其實就係話我去 call 起佢嘅時間咧，我要 call 一樣嘢拉落少少。咁啊，就係我哋嘅 entry script。OK，entry、okay? script 咧咁頭先我哋就啊用本機啦去做啦。OK， 咁點樣可以令得到個 action machine 嘅 cluster 知得到我哋有啲 script 要行去 distribute 落去咧？其實我哋要 define 一啲叫 estimator 嘅東西，亦就係我 define 個 entry script。咁 entry script 咧就係話頭先我哋 define 咗個 script。OK， 我哋都要 define 翻你嘅 estimations 去令到 action machine 嘅知道。OK， 佢叫起翻呢一組嘅 compute clusters。OK。去行翻我首先我 define 咗個 train dot py 個 train dot script 去行翻出嚟，咁行完之後咧，咁當然要等啦。OK， 等完之後我哋就會可以 get 到翻個 result， 亦都 gain 到個 same experience， 你可以睇得到去 track 翻個 result。For example， 誒，我費事混淆啦。OK， 所以我就擺咗落去另外一個 experience 裏邊嘅。OK， 我叫做 psychic learn MNIST two。OK。咁呢一個就係一個好簡單嘅展示啦，可以睇得到裏邊嗰啲 metrics 啦 ，OK， 個 runs 啦，亦都係用啲 remote compute 去做 trains 嘅嚇。咁呢個係啊 psychic learn，OK。咁 TensorFlow，OK，TensorFlow 當然頭先我都誒介紹過啦，咁絕對係 support 嘅喺個 Azure 嘅世界呢種 model 嘅、okay? ，或者 Python 都 support 嘅。其實係大同小異啦，咁當然裏邊嗰個 libraries 裏邊嘅 syntax 絕對係唔同啦 ，OK。咁呢一個版本其實我都想好簡單去展示一下啦，亦都去做一啲啊。logging 啦 ，OK， 頭先我想做翻啦 ，OK， 都係同一個原理啦 ，OK， 裏邊嘅 accuracy 啊 ，OK， 裏邊嘅 loss rate 啊，或者其他 metrics 你想 track 嘅，完全都係 input 翻相對嘅 library 都可以去寫翻落去個 workspace 裏邊啦，嚇。最後一個 example，OK，、okay? 最後 example， 誒、呃，亦都大同小異嘅，都係同一個 sample， 我都想做一個 consistent 嘅 demonstration 俾大家睇睇。咁呢一個做啲乜嘢咧？咩唔同咧？咁當然所有嘅 training 嘅 metrics 咧。亦都會寫翻落 Azure Machine Learning 嘅 experience 嘅 workspace 裏邊。咁我唯一唔同嗰啲嘅 training 就係話我用咗一個 GPU cluster 嘅 distributed 嘅 trainings。OK， 誒我用咗 Hello World 嘅 frameworks。OK， 我做呢個 model 嘅 trainings。咁我哋都要 define 翻你嘅 entry script， 我哋嘅 estimator script。OK， 咁當然啦，你喺個誒我哋亦都全部 open source 咗噶啦。OK， 咁其實喺呢度裏邊亦都可以去 define 翻 import 翻你個 Hello World 嘅 TensorFlow 嘅 framework 啦。OK， 去做一個 distributed 嘅 trainings。咁當然你 after 你呢個 script 嘅 development 嘅時間。亦都可以去叫翻個 training cluster 去做個 distributed 嘅 training 啦。好，因為時間關係咧 ，OK， 咁我就今日嘅 sharing 咧都差唔多啦 ，OK， 希望今日誒嘅 sharing 幫到你哋手 ，OK， 咁可能你哋啊，如果有啲乜嘢嘅 machine learning 嘅問題，或者 deep learning 嘅問題，就歡歡迎發問啦 ，OK， 又或者你可以 PM 我都得嘅。啊！唔該曬，誒，好詳細啲 learning 上邊我解説啊。咁咧，其實我哋真係見到有好幾條問題咧 flow 咗入嚟嘅。誒，但係因為我哋而家都 offer run 緊啦，咁咧，所以我問一兩條啦。嗱，例如咧，誒，有人就問啊，喺呢個誒 time series machine learning algo 入邊有冇一啲 out of the box 嘅 features 咧？ Uh, time series， 我哋有 time series insight。誒，你試一試 search 喺嗱喺 Bing 或者係你喺 Google 一下啦。OK， 喺度裏邊你揾到 Azure 上面嘅 time series insight， 係我哋 first party 嘅 API 咧，你可以 ingest 翻一啲 time series 嘅 data 去做一啲 predictions 嘅。For example， 誒、uh, ，你睇下我 Medium 我都曾經有一個 article 係講呢樣嘢，我去 forecast 一啲叫做 stock price。OK， 可能你知道。我最 classic 嘅 time series 當然係 stock price 啦，係咪 ？Fit 呢個 stock price， 咁變咗你可以 interest 翻你嗰啲 time series status， 亦都可以做一個，即係我哋 learn 咗你之前嘅 patterns。如果係 abnormal 嘅話，亦都可以 check 下 learn 嘅。咁呢一個傳統嚟講，當然我哋可以做一啲 linear 嘅 model， 就可以去做一啲 detections， 我哋嘅 normal detections 啦。咁變咗我哋個 API 裏邊已經原生有噶啦，隨手即用你都可以做到嘅，係零曲嘅，係啦。只需要你識識 call API 就 OK 啦<笑>。好，唔該曬。咁我問多一條，因為呢條都幾 common 嘅，就係、是、大家都誒成日好 interest 我哋啲 speech API 啊、language 嘅 API 啊，實唔實 support Cantonese 啊？啊、uh, ，Cantonese OK 㗎。OK， 近期我都有個 project 做緊，做緊 Cantonese 㗎。係啊，冇錯，都其實誒、uh, speech to test 係其中一樣嘢啦。香港嘅誒。Uh, 
啊，直頭係 support Cantonese 嘅廣東話，即係而家我講緊廣東話啦，係咪？咁當然好多時候我哋講廣東話嘅時間都會講啲英文啦。頭先我識講好多好多唔同多次嘅，譬如 My Dosh 啊、TensorFlow 啊 ，OK。咁可能喺個溝通裏邊一定有英文嘅，係咪？咁變咗喺一啲 mixed language 裏邊都可以 detect 到。同埋一樣嘢，我可以介紹一下嘅，趁住呢個機會。啊，除咗 speech to test， 我亦都有個叫 custom speech 嘅東西。custom speech 咧，其實係 on top of 我哋個叫 transfer learning 啦。如果大家知道啲 machine learning 嘅 technologies 嘅話，咁就係話。Based on 你現成嘅 model， based on 你自己嘅 custom， 即係話，譬如我錄影咗呢個 speech，OK，、okay? 咁當然你有稿啦 ，OK， 咁你可以 based on 你個 voice， 誒，你個稿去 further 再 train 翻你個 voice speech to to test 個 model， 去 improve 你嘅 accuracy。咁呢個就係好多時候誒、呃、一啲唔同嘅環境可能好 noisy 啦 ，OK， 又或者啲人講啲嘢好快嘅 ，OK， 希望將佢知有時一關咁啊講得好快咗啦。講嘢好快嘅，好多時候就會有一啲咁樣嘅 customize， 我哋需要去做。誒，你可以玩一玩叫做 custom speech 嘅東西。custom speech 係其中一樣嘢，你可以 base 我哋現有嘅 train 好咗嘅 Cantonese 又好，或者係普通話又好、英文又好嘅 model， 所以你可以去 on top 你嘅 data 去再 on top 去 train 咯。好，唔該曬 Eason。好啦，誒，多謝曬你今日抽空嚟做同我哋做呢個 sharing， 唔該曬你先。Okay, so once again, thank you so much, Ethan. Great demo and great sharing. So, um, due to limited time, I think we have to wrap up the sessions here.